Okay, well, the first thing, as always, is I will raise the robot of the build. It's just a personal preference. I like to keep it raised, it makes it easier for me to build. Um, first thing we want to do is make uh, two rows of 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops. <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's double check that. So two rows of 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Good. So two rows of 13. Two prisms to point it off. And let the point go down. two blocks and round that off with another prism, like that. At the end, again, prism and pulling out three blocks. <laughs> okay, and let's see. On the top, going in four blocks, on the fourth block, make a small row of three blocks, round it off by prisms. Like that. And underneath, counting from that last prism, um, Five blocks in. One, two, three, four, five. Block beneath that. And see it. Round that off. Go. And on top here. Continue. Up. Oh. the same length as the bottom row here. So we have something that looks like this. Um, then let's get started on the nose. Uh, we want to select the uh, inners. Out like this. We're not going to round it off completely because uh, we need to make room for some turrets here. So, I'm gonna round it off, kind of like a small circle, three by three. And we'll leave one space, then put in three prisms. That. And on that open piece, we're gonna place inner connects with the prism that square block so go all the way in here actually that and again here prisms this time we will use Tetris Round it off. Back. And on the bottom one, we're gonna have just a small spike going out like this. Go. Just gonna fill this up for now. And. block there because I need 
this corner block there. And another one because I can't place like that. No, I need something to connect it to. That. And block like that on each side. Now we're gonna make a kind of call, I call them wheel arches, but they are arches to hold the wings. Like so. And like so. And we want a prism here. Another inner. Lock and end it with an inner. So you'll have kind of these two wheel arches on top. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. So, gives us the basic top platform. And let's see, we need to cut a little off here. We only need that two blocks in, so we're gonna move these back here. And we're gonna round this off. So, and in order to get a sense of what we're doing, I'm just going to use glass. Here you can use uh, armor as well. I just like to uh, create the cockpit. And it's purely uh, aesthetics. Uh, of course, you do not need it, and it's only a question about how much... Um, want it actually to look like a cockpit. But you can hide the seat down here. Speaking of, I'll make a hole like that. And um, let's put in this box here. Here. And we're gonna build out from the rear window here, I'm gonna pull this block further out, like so. And even further, one extra block, and like so. These are extra turret holders. So you have, from the center, uh, four blocks, prism, two blocks, and a prism. Same thing goes for the other side. So, one, two, three, four, two blocks, and round them off. So, um, let's see. Then we need to complete the turret holder down here. Pull that in. Round it off there. So like that. Same thing goes for the other side. Oops, down here. <laughs> Round it off like that. I use some prisms, uh, titrus. Like that. So, kind of make this round shape down here is to hold one of the turrets, one of the plasmas. Go! And that is actually the hull. Let's see, yep. Yeah. So, in order to start, well, it looks weird right now, and it is kind of a complex build. <laughs> but uh, it'll all, all come clear. So, let's pull in some, uh, some wings. So, I use this is for a T8 build. So, we want as much T8 as possible, but it would be nice to have some. T9 and T10 stuff on him, so that is why I am mixing a little in order to push it down because I'm using 10, uh, T10 turrets on this thing as well. So, so T8 blades, uh, T8 airfoils, and rudders on the back. I use T8s like so. And on the front, I use T5s. Or no, sorry, T6. Like 
So, and to protect these wings, instead of using a lot of blocks, I like to use electroplates. They are placed like so underneath. protect the wings. This will let, uh, let you take a lot of damage from beneath, and that is a good thing as a bomber. So there we go. Next let's put in some thrusters, and I use four T8s. Uh, one of them in here, that's why I made this kind of cavity. This is always the thruster that survives because it's inside the hull and inside the shields and it's nice to have something. And I put two more up here and one on the nose. And I put in, uh, let's see, T7s, two T7s on the side here. The top one is not, well, it's nice to have. Uh, I initially Build it like this, but it gives you that extra speed and climbs a lot faster. So it's it's nice to have. There we go. Now for some special stuff, I like to have a radar here. And I like to have jammer right there. Remember these are also shields, so or armor. Then I use T9 plasmas. Let's see, I can't remember. Can I have T10s? Oh, we'll oh, just jump to T9. It's okay. You can always put in a T9 thruster to to decide whether you want T9 or you want a T8. Yeah, you can build this plane from, I would say, T7, uh, Tier 7 and up. So you can always uh, just upgrade. See, I like to have these. They are not essential, but they are nice to have for the build, I think. See, and the last thing we need are the smaller thrusters. I use T4s. These are to help you uh, climb and to dive faster, and it'll come clear when we test him out. Because the movability and maneuverability of this thing is pretty good. Uh, you really want to be able to dodge, uh, and that is normally very hard for a bomber, because they are usually heavy to carry a lot of armor and a lot of thrusters and a lot of gear. But this thing is very maneuverable. So, um, I think got it all yeah. so let's give him a whirl oh that <laughs> wasn't all essential part guys don't forget put in a seat <laughs> minor detail here we go so let's see if we placed all the thrusters in the right place balance is everything Yeah. And you can see it climbs very fast. You can see I can make very small loops. And it is very good. So I can dive loop. Very small loops again. Very maneuverable. And he can climb pretty fast. But that's a. Uh, you can always figure out to put more thrusters, etc. So yeah, that is it. That is how you built the Hawk. So hope you guys have fun. Uh, as always, um, any comments, uh, leave them below. And uh, be sure to check out the Twitch live stream where we built these things and have a lot of fun. That is on Twitch on NickDKOnline. 
and uh, thank you all for watching and there will be more tutorials coming so until then guys have fun and stay cool bye